thing I learned from Harold is that successful leaders make time for the people around them and for what's important. If you send Harold a message, you'd get an answer almost immediately, no matter what was going on. He'd make time for a call or a meeting if he had to, but he knew his time was valuable and he didn't like to waste it, particularly not in meetings. He still holds the record for conducting the free TV AGM in three minutes flat. I loved working with Harold and I really miss him. He was a very generous man. It was incredibly funny. The number of times I found myself crying with laughter just from the little things that he said. I had the great privilege of working for Mitchells for 10 plus years of my career and Harold had an enormous impact on me and I think more broadly on the industry. Harold was a great man, an innovator, a mentor, a father figure. Harold Mitchell was a pioneer. He personally elevated the media departments out of the basement of creative agencies to the boardrooms of Australia's biggest companies and political offices. He was tough, he was fair, and he was very successful. We're incredibly lucky in this wonderful industry of ours to work with some incredible titans of business. Those people that leave their everlasting mark on the industry as a whole, changing the game, and the people inside that shaping the industry and shaping careers on the way through. And in the words of his own autobiography, Living Large, Harold is most definitely one of those people, a true giant of the industry. You keep the competition great, and that's great for all of us. And you're not a bad bloke. It's terrific that we are collectively coming together to, to recognise what a wonderful man Harold was and, and the legacy that he leaves. Harold famously didn't tolerate fools and didn't like long meetings. A good meeting at Free TV, a good board meeting went for an hour and he kept one AGM meeting to five minutes, still talked about to this day. When I first started at Mitchell's in 2000, a fresh young media assistant, I came in and encountered this amazing email that was basically we were, he wanted to send all staff to the Olympics. Uh, so three months into my career, off I went to the Olympic Games. He really wanted all of his people to experience what was the Sydney Olympics, a once in a lifetime amazing experience. Harold's beginnings were very humble and he always remembered where he came from. And that fear of failure drove him. He was the actual inspiration for me to go out and um, start my own agency. Not that I looked at him and thought, well, if you can do it, I can do it too. But, but more so uh, just having a go. Get out there and have a crack, Nick. He shaped advertising agencies, making people much more accountable than they'd ever been before. Uh, he set up buying platforms and trading platforms. But probably the most important thing he did was he looked after the people that he worked with. For those of you who have joined the media industry only recently and may not be fully aware of Harold Mitchell and the significant changes that he made for media in the advertising industry. The next time you're into the office in your top floor, 23 floor building, looking out to the beautiful seascape and the wonderful cityscape and the greenery and the plants and it's a wonderful workspace, just know that you're probably sitting there because of the work that the people like Harold Mitchell has done to put media at the forefront of advertising. Back in the day when I was piecing together the idea of SMI in my mind, I wondered if Harold would participate. Everyone knew he was one of the fiercest competitors in the market and would he um, be okay with the, uh, with the Mitchell's data coming into the SMI pool. But as soon as I flagged the idea to him, you know, even though he was so super competitive, he could immediately see the benefit for the broader industry and he was all in and he became one of our fiercest supporters. He was an incredible business person uh, and that was only bettered by his generosity in the community and his philanthropy which may not be well known to everybody but it was incredible and it was significant and he leaves an everlasting mark on not just this industry but on this country. In later years, Harold did not stand on ceremony. In the last couple of years of his life, I love to catch up with him in Melbourne, outside his favourite cafe, the European. He'd be sitting in the sunshine, sipping a coffee, reading a paper, 
and wearing his tracky dacks. Uh, probably the most important thing that he taught me was follow through and to be courageous. So ask enough questions, uh, believe in your process, employ the right people and work really hard for your clients. Harold was kind. Harold was incredibly generous. He was incredibly supportive of his staff. Uh, he could be grumpy when he wanted to be, but mostly he was pretty affable and a really funny, loving man. Harold had a saying, which is, if you're going to do something, do it big, make a statement. And the Media Federation is making a wonderful statement tonight in inducting Harold Mitchell into the Hall of Fame. It recognises his lifetime and unique contribution to this industry and to Australian life generally. We will not see his like again. This posthumous award is appropriate recognition for a man who pioneered and had such an impact on this industry. Congratulations, Harold. You are a legend um, and we miss you. It's awesome to see him recognised tonight and my thoughts go out to him and his family. So thank you, Harold. Thank you for all your support. I still miss you, I'll always miss you, but I'll always value the contribution you gave to me and our industry. Harold was a big personality. He was a big ideas man. He was a big businessman and he had a big heart. And he absolutely deserves to be in this MFA Hall of Fame.